Hello, what's up everybody? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sanja and I am here again with another UNISA video. It's been a minute. I know it's been a minute, but I have to tell you this because we are now approaching or people, I think they, some of us have already started with our examinations. So it is important that I come with a step-by-step -step guide for the online examinations for 2022. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just go straight to the video. If you're going to gossip, at least make sure you're very well dressed. You can't look like shit and talk shit at the same time. Okay, so first and foremost, it is important that you are familiar with your timetable. You are best friends with your timetable. This means that you know when you're writing, you know your time and you know your date and your day. Uh, secondly, to go to your examinations, you will need to go to my exams under the my exams platform. That's where you will find your examination. You'll find a space where you'll be able to punch in your date. If not your date, then you will then be uh, directed to punch in your code. When you punch in your code under that particular date you've selected, it will then bring your examination time and your examination link where you'll be able to click on. And then when the examination paper is available, that's when you'll be able to then access the question paper and start with the examination. Obviously, this is not going to be available before it is the date of your examination. Hence, is the reason why I am urging you that you familiarize yourself with this website by taking the dummy examination, which is to test you or to, to familiarize you, help you be familiar with the procedure of how to get to examination. Uh, so definitely you need to make sure that at least a day before you test yourself with this, you familiarize yourself with the website. Number two. Okay, number three, you need to be having an invigilator app first. Okay, so there is a way of checking if your module is under the invigilator app. You need to first find out if your module is going to be using an invigilator app. And if it is using an invigilator app, I have actually made a video before where I am telling you in length about how to download the app, how to use the app, what are the expectations of you using the app and how you can actually succeed with your invigilator app during your online examination. If you have not seen that video, this is the video. I will definitely link the, leave the link down below so that you can see the video. You need to download it, you need to register, then you log in and then you'll be able to have access of the invigilator app when you want it as you write your online examination. When you go to my UNISA, there is a training section as well. There is the training schedule where you will be trained uh, how to access your examination. It's the, first, it's the same thing as the, what I was saying earlier, that now you are going in the process of getting to see how to access your exam. You are also getting an experience of seeing and learning how to upload your examination after writing it and when you have completed it. So there will be a dummy examination when you go to my training or training schedule. That's where you'll be able to have access of this, where you have your either MCQ or your written examination. You will have both options. You will choose the one that is uh, that looks the same as the examination that you're going to write. Maybe you can even do both if it's possible for you to do that so that you can know both ways, both the MTQ and the written examination. So when you participate in the training schedule, you will be then given this mock examination where you'll do all these things that I've mentioned already. Then number four, make sure that if you have password problems, you sort them out as soon as possible because you need your MyUNISA to be able to go to my examinations for you to be able to access your examination paper on the day of an exam. So if you have an issue or maybe you forgot your password or your password is not going through, it's giving you difficulties to log in, make sure that you sort all those situations out before the day of an examination. Um, I will definitely also leave a link down below that will be called a reset your password that will help you fix your password problems. Number six, as you prepare for your online examination, you need to make sure that you have access of your laptop or access of a computer, as well as a, a very stable connection of internet. And I know that we have load shedding issues, of which also is going to have a huge impact on our examinations because we know when load shedding takes a power, 
we have also the network issues that we, we tend to get. Sometimes the network becomes so weak, sometimes we lose it completely. So you need to have those things in consideration or in your head as you prepare for your examination. If you come to that situation, what are you going to do? You know, you need to choose the venues that you write your examination based on the schedules of load shedding. For an example, maybe at your auntie's place, um, they are having a load shedding later that day. And during the hours of your examination, maybe you will be able to, you know, go there and write your examination and come back. So just, just figure out a plan. Make sure that you are aware of the schedules of load shedding so that you don't get disturbed. Because if it happens that you do get disturbed during your examination and load shedding takes place and then it takes your internet away and maybe even your power, which is also, I don't suggest that you go through that problem because you need to charge your devices earlier. But let's say, God forbid, that happens. You need to understand that if you are a first year student and you experience that situation, they will be able to give you a second chance uh, to write your examination. If you are not a first year student, obviously you will need to apply for an agrotat. So these are the steps that you will need to follow to actually apply for an agrotat. An agrotat is that examination that is like a second chance in life. So when you had difficulties, you can state them. There is a form that you, they will, you need to fill. As you follow these steps, then you submit so that you'll be given the chance to write your examination again, you know, so that you, you save up yourself, not to repeat the whole module just because you couldn't access your examination. It is also important for me to emphasize to you that you need to make sure that the devices that you're using are up to date, they are updated. You need to update your phone. If you're using your phone for your examination, make sure that you update your phone, you update everything that needs to be updated so that it doesn't freeze on you or it doesn't just ask you to update in the middle of an examination and make sure that you make use of your past examination papers. There are many of us UNISA students who have succeeded amazingly, achieved highest you know, marks that we could have never been able to achieve if we do not make use of the past examination papers. The beauty of the past examination papers is that they actually show you how your examination is going to look like. It might not be exactly a phrase exactly the same or questions asked exactly the same but it gives you a guide as to what to expect and what is it that you need to cover as you prepare for your examination so make sure that you do download them in time because they usually disappear on your my unisa under your resources as you approach the days of your examinations so it is advised that you download them and keep them safe and you'll be using them as you test yourself of your readiness as you prepare for your examinations and they really come in handy because usually the examination don't fall far from the previous examination paper and then last but not least and this is number 11 just an extra point is that uh, you need to understand that now you need to have changed some things before i think i believe they used to give you an hour if not 45 minutes to actually upload after you have finished writing your examination well it turned out that now they do not give you that much time. They decided to come down to 30 minutes. And mind you, this 30 minutes, you need to fit everything in it. If you happen to have technical issues, you need to be able to resolve your issues within the 30 minutes. So you are not advised to continue writing your examination during this 30 minutes. Also, chances are the Invigilator app, if you're using it, might be able to detect that you continued with your examination even though it was time to for you to stop so make sure that when it is time for you to stop you stop and use the 30 minutes to actually upload your exam you upload it successfully and you screenshot and save that screen that says successful submitted because if anything happens with unisa they lose your marks or anything you'll need to show them that proof that you did write your examination on that day uh, so that they'll be able to trace back your marks because anything can happen, you know, human error can happen anywhere to anyone. So make sure that you screenshot that last uh, picture that shows you uh, that you have submitted your examination. So I think that will be all for today, guys. I hope that you're having a great one. I wish you all the best to everyone who's writing their examinations right now. I wish you all the best. May we succeed. May we see the light. May we get the marks that we envisioned and worked so hard for. So from me, Princess Yanja, to you, all I can say for now is that I'll see you on the flip side. Cheers.